Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you've watched one of my videos, my name is Amber. I am a full-time actuary and a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. So I buy clothing and shoes and I resell them on Poshmark for fun and a little bit extra money. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my Poshmark rooms. So I started reselling about a year and a half ago and I started by just taking pictures on the back of a door and I had like one tub of clothes in a closet. Since then, as most of you know, I have expanded my side hobby slash business quite a bit. And also my boyfriend and I bought a house about a year ago. So the room I'm in now was the room that was supposed to be my Poshmark room. And if you saw my goals at the beginning of the year, I talked about how I was going to redo my Poshmark room and that's the room we're in now. So let me show you guys that and I'll explain why this is no longer my Poshmark room. So this room was my original Poshmark room. This is Jack, he's one of our two dogs, and he just likes to usually lay in whichever room I'm in when I'm working on reselling stuff. Anyway, so this was the original room that I was going to use for Poshmark, and I did use it for about six months, eight months, something like that. I had two main issues with this room. The first one is that it's very badly regulated in terms of temperature, so in the winter it's really cold in here, and in the summer it's very hot. So for example, today it's pretty hot up here. And then the second issue was that I just don't have awesome options for walls to take pictures on up here. Whereas in the basement, which is where I have my stuff now, there's a lot of white walls and a lot of big spaces where I can take pictures. I'm now down in the basement and I'm going to show you guys my Poshmark rooms that I absolutely love. So this is the first room. As you can see, Jack followed us down here. Over here I have a clothing rack where I hang up any clothes I'm about to list. This is most of my currently unlisted clothing. Here we have a crooked picture <laughs> and this is the area where I do like measuring and listing and then ultimately I inventory it. So right now I'm working on bin G. So you can see I have my G tags and there's tub G. So I will put clothes in it. All right, on to the next room. So this room is our basement living room and is also where I take pictures now as you can see there's a nice big white wall um, I also have my mannequin and then there is our living room space and if you guys are interested I do have all my lights and mannequins linked in the description below and then on to the third and final room so this room used to be a junk room where we just kept random stuff like Christmas decorations and things like that those are now in closets or outside in a storage shed so we had these shelving units, so you can see the shelving unit. We had two shelving units that were outside in a shed that were left by the old owners. So I moved those down here. As you can see, I set this one up as a shipping station, have all of my boxes down here, and then my shipping supplies up here. Again, I have the scale and the poly mailers linked in the description below. Then over here is where I have all of my inventory stored at. So obviously all the listed stuff is in the tubs and there's a little pile of unlisted inventory there. But all those shoes are listed. All of these tubs have listed inventory. Up top here I have boxes that are waiting for use in videos. So this one was a small buyout. I can't actually remember now what I bought but it was really good stuff from what I recall. This box is stuff that I'm going to send in to thread up Lux and then I have another thread up jean box to unbox. And then these are for like package comparison videos. They're things I've ordered for myself that I need to open to record a video. Next, I have boxes of shoes on the floor. So these are all shoes that I bought in Denver. And if you guys stick around, I'm gonna do ship with me and list with me and I'm gonna be focusing on listing these shoes today. So those are my Poshmark rooms. I hope you guys enjoyed watching them. And then, like I said, if you want to stick around, I'm also going to do a ship with me and a list with me. I'm going to do a ship with me and a list with me. All right, I'm going to go grab my labels for the stuff I sold, and then I will be back down here. All right, so I went and got the labels. I have three sales to ship out. I didn't make another sale yesterday, but I actually put it in the mailbox before I left for work. So I sold a flax skirt yesterday morning for $32. And so after Poshmark fees and my cost of goods, I made about, I think I made $22 in profit. Okay, so the three things I sold since yesterday morning, it is like 
let's see it is 2 p.m on saturday so this is since friday morning at like 8 a.m to saturday at 2 p.m so first i sold d14 which is a vintage winnie the pooh jacket So in these tubs, I have them numbered and I try to put the numbers facing out so I can see here's D14 and there's the Winnie Pooh jacket to try to make it faster when I am going to ship. This is mainly important during the weekdays when I just need to do quick shipping and not have to worry or stress about it taking a while to do. All right. Next, the other two are both in bin J. J is almost all jeans as you would maybe guess. And again, I have the numbers all I have the numbers all facing out, so it makes it easier and they're all in order too. So 15 J15 and J22 J15 and J22. So I wrote all the numbers on the back of the labels. J15 is right on top and J22 right here. All right, now that I got the three items out, I'm gonna flip it so you can see my shipping station as I ship these up to go out. I'm out of breath. <laughs> so we got our three things we're gonna ship out. First are these American Eagle jeans. These, uh, my sister Erin actually listed, they were her jeans, so I sent her the money for these. So I had them listed at 16 and I sent out I've been sending out offers. They've been listed for a few months. Uh, I think the lowest I sent out was $12 with $1.80 off shipping. Someone sent me an offer for $9, so I accepted that offer. So for this, I so I do ship in these plastic bags. I prefer not to. So if you ever buy from me and you don't want me to use this, just let me know. But I know a lot of buyers like to have their item protected, so I do ship them in the Ziploc bags. I then write up a little note, and I have all of these little tags I've made out of old scrapbooking paper. So I'll write up a little thank you really quick. So this one is going to Brandy. So I wrote up my little card. It just says, hi Brandy, thank you for your purchase. I hope you love the jeans. Um, I do sometimes write more if I know more about the person. Um, this case I don't, so that's all I'm going to write. And then I have these poly mailers. And so this one I'm just going to slide in the poly mailer. And then I'll just stick on the label. I do use a Dymo label printer. Um, I know some people don't like them, but I haven't had any issues with mine. I do have that also linked below. Whoopsies. All right, next up are a pair of cut from the cloth jeans. These are new with tags. I bought these in my in that reseller inventory buyout that I posted a little bit ago. They sold for $18, so Poshmark took $360. I paid $5 for them, so I made like around $9 profit. And I am gonna do the same thing for shipping these. I'm gonna put them in a poly mailer and write a little thank you note. So these are going out to Jennifer and her name is Jen Five Boys. So I actually have four sisters. There's five girls in my family. So Erin is the youngest and I'm the oldest. And our names go in alphabetic order, so that's how people remember our names. So, obviously, A, Amber, I'm the oldest, and then Beth, Cassie, Deanne, and then Erin is the youngest. And I did notice Jennifer just joined Poshmark in August, so I'm going to probably write something like, um, I saw that you're new, so if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know.
my main thing with shipping is to make it fast because during the weekday if i have a lot of shipping it used to stress me out but now i have a process that's fast enough that it doesn't stress me out it doesn't take me too long to do it all right and finally we have oh, I'll turn those finally we have this vintage winnie the pooh jean jacket so i had this listed at 55 dollars and I've had like almost 40 likes on it, but no one has purchased it yet, which implies that my price is too high. So I got an offer for $25 yesterday. I counted her at 35, she counted at 30, and I accepted her $30 offer. I did get this from the Goodwill outlet. So I, let's see, $30 plus one takes six. I probably paid like $2 for it. So I made about a $22 profit on it. Obviously this one is not going to fit in a poly mailer, so I am gonna put it in a box. is the 1095 I will have a link below to a video that shows you exactly how you can order free boxes from USPS and you can sh everything ships priority on Poshmark so any of these boxes you can use on on Poshmark all right just drop it in there and seal it up Alright, so I've got my three sales packaged up and now I'm going to go do some listing and I'm probably going to go to the grocery store later today so I'll ship these out later when I go to the grocery store. Now I'm going to get started on listing. I have a box over here with tall boots that I bought in Denver. Some of them are really nice brands like these are a pair of fry boots. Um, but I'm going to start with some of the less nice brands because I have some leather cleaner here and also some Birkenstocks cleaner. But it, I'm not going to clean the Birkenstocks right now. But I'm going to try cleaning these. But I want to start with the ones that are less expensive. So if I mess something up, I don't do damage to the more expensive boots. So I'm going to start with this pair. Because they're definitely needing um, a leather cleaning. They're pretty dirty and grungy looking. These are a pair of Keens. And they're a size um, 7.5. So I got a little bucket of water because I think it says to mix it with apply a small amount with a slightly damp textured cloth. Rub gently in a circular motion, allow it to dry, repeat if necessary. Okay, so I'm gonna rag. And we're gonna make it damp. Literally look like they've never been worn but the outside of the boots are super worn so I'm gonna let this one dry while I work on the other boot but so like right now holy cow this is the one I've done this is the one I haven't done <whistles> dang I'm gonna let this one dry and I'm gonna work on the other one
All right, both are cleaned and I'm just gonna let them dry and then I will show you guys the final product once they have dried. All right, next I'm going to work on these Justin boots. These are not needing quite as nearly as much as those last boots. They are a size six and a half. They look pretty good as is. All right, so that took about a third of the time the other pair, but I'm gonna call that good. Got the Justin boots cleaned up. All right, next I'm gonna work on these. These are a pair of Merrill booties. They are size eight and a half. And like I said, I got all of these at the Denver Goodwill outlet. So I paid $1.29 per pound for each pair of these, of these boots. These do have a little zip tie on them. I finished cleaning up the Merrells. They don't look too different, but again, they still look nice. Bottoms look good. So I think next I'm going to work on this pair of fry boots. I hope that I can make these look amazing. So while that sits, I'm going to work on these. This, these are another pair of Merrill boots. the Merrells and I'm just going to let those sit. Should we check back in on the first pair of boots? All right so these Keens they feel pretty dry. I think they're good. So this is what they look like after they have sat. They definitely look better than they did before and I'm going to get these listed now. All right I went and got a second light so that I have a little bit more light on these boots. Start by taking pictures of them laying flat long ways so you, they can see full length both sides. Then I will take a picture of the bottoms. All right, next I will take a picture of the inside of the boot, including the size tag. All right, now I'm going to list them. All right, next we're gonna list the Justin boots.
sweet. <clears throat> Next we will do the Merrill shoes. And that was the point that my camera died. So I just went upstairs while my camera was charging and edited all the footage from today. And if you guys are new to my channel, this video is very different than what I normally do. <laughs> if you guys have watched my channel for a while, you probably noticed that. While I was editing it, there were some things I really liked in this video and there were some things that I wasn't really sure about. So um, definitely comment down below. Let me know what did you guys like about this video? What did you dislike? So that I can change things for the future and keep improving to make the videos more enjoyable. Thank you guys all for watching and stay tuned because as always I'll have a new video out soon. Mm -hmm.